Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy, and today I'll be showing you how to beat the Easter Egg in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map, Death Strand. First thing you may want to do is turn on power. Power is found in the main control room. Find the building behind Electric Cherry and go down the stairs. Turn right when you get to the control room to find the room with power. You'll next need to open up the room with the teleporter. Head down the stairs in the main control room and find the two panels for the door pumps. You'll need to send power to both the left door pump and right door pump, and then activate each pump on the blue machine on the left and right of the concrete door. This will cause the doors to open and reward you with an extra perk slot. On the right side of the teleporter room is a crane. You'll need to find a generator, fuse, and cable to power the crane. The generator is found on the ground by the truck across from the schnitzel shop. The fuse is found inside the courtyard apartment. It'll be the apartment on the left when facing the Bowie knife wall by and the cables are found behind the tattoo shop on the wall near the gobblegum machine. Once you have all three parts, place them on the crane in the room with the teleporter. Then interact with it to power the generator. Press the panel on the wall next to the crane to activate it. After you activate the crane, go into the room to the left of the teleporter and interact with the panel to start up the teleporter. This will also reward you with another perk slot. Next, place the Vril device, which you already have, into the machine all the way to the left of the one you just pressed for the teleporter. You'll next need to obtain the Kugel. Take the teleporter to Pack Punch for 2500 points. Head outside and to the left of the zipline is a gas can. Pick it up. Then take the zipline for another 2500 points. When you land, pick up the blue oil barrel on your left, and then find the screwdriver on one of the counters on the pier. You'll now need to obtain some gasoline. Find the truck that's blocking the street near the schnitzel place and stab the fuel tank. Then interact with it again to collect fuel. Wait about 20 seconds and you can now pick up the can. Head to the upstairs apartments of Toby's Bar and find the room across from Widow's Wine. Head inside and pour the fuel. Then place down the oil barrel. Push the oil barrel to cause it to roll onto the ground. Then once the fuel is done pouring into the room, push it as well. Throw a grenade inside to cause the room to explode. You'll now be able to pick up the kugel on the ground right outside the bar. Head back to the room with the teleporter and place the kugel in the machine next to the Vril device. Then disconnect the cable from the crane and use it to connect the Vril device machine to the kugel machine. This will unlock another perk slot for you. You'll now need to input codes into the three sets of computers in a particular order. The code for the first set of computers is through the window to the right of Pack Punch. The code for the middle set of computers is found on the wall next to the Vril device. And the last code is found in one of the apartments above the Asian restaurant. Head inside to the second floor apartment and go into the kitchen. You can see the code when looking through the window next to Who's Who. This one is tough to see and you'll need to crouch in order to be able to see the code. Once you have all three codes, head back to the control room and input them in. Code 1, the one you found in the room with Pack Punch, is placed into the set of computers to the left when facing the teleporter. Code 2, from the wall next to the real device, is placed into the set of computers in the middle of the room and code 3 from the window near Who's Who is placed into the set of computers on the right when facing the teleporter. Be aware that there really isn't any sound to tell you that you've correctly inputted the numbers into the machine. You'll now need to obtain the Wonder Off from the box and pack punch it. Then use it to shoot three beakers around the map. One is on the table to the right of the Kugel machine, one is on the table to the left of pack punch, and one is on the pier across from where you picked up the screwdriver. The glasses should glow blue if done correctly. Once you've shot all three, you'll now need to collect souls in them. Fill all three beakers with souls, and you'll now be able to pick them up. After you pick the beakers up, head back to the teleporter room and pour each of the beakers into the graduated cylinder to the right of the real device. You don't have to pick up all three beakers before pouring them in. After you poured all three beakers into the cylinder, interact with the panel on the right to start charging. This is the same one you interacted with when starting up the teleporter. This will close the doors to the teleporter room and start a lockdown. You'll now need to survive for three full rounds in this room, so get comfy. Survive the full three rounds and the doors will open up once again. You will now need to input new codes into the computers. The codes are found in the same locations as before. Again, the first set is found in the room with Pack Punch, the second is next to the real device machine, and the third is through the window in the apartment with Who's Who. Input the codes correctly and you can now pick back up the Kugel. Pick it up and place it into the teleporter. It will teleport away. Then pick up the Vril device. Whenever you're ready to take on the boss, teleport to Pack Punch and then take the zipline to the pier. The Skullbreaker boss will spawn in when you land on the pier. 
Defeat him and the crane on the pier will activate, raising one of the crates. This will allow you to climb your way to the roof of the building and onto the boat to end the game. If you want to activate the Easter egg song, you'll need to interact with the three teddies around the map. There is one in the stocking store and one of the shelves. One is in the kitchen of the first floor apartment in the building with the Asian restaurant. And one is at Pack-a-Punch. You'll need a jump to activate this one. And that's it. I'll be doing more Easter egg guides in the future, so subscribe if you're interested. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.